If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the Madden market. I've been getting a lot of questions related to potential crashes, potential investments, potential market movements. I've been getting a lot of questions about it, so I figured... Let's cover it now. We don't really have any big promo coming that will potentially affect the market in a big way. We do have ultimate kickoff, but typically ultimate kickoff doesn't exactly destroy the market. It may introduce a quick little shift, but no legends really right now. No, no ultimate kickoff will actually completely destroy it. Like, you know, like, because we get market dips, right? Or market rise, but those go back to normal after like a day or two. Only times that we see markets destroyed are like Christmas promos, like month 10, like so some crazy thing that comes out that just destroys an entire market. Only way a legend weekend would really destroy the market, and it wouldn't even destroy it, would be if we got like a Vic, Randy, Dion, Lawrence, Taylor type of weekend, but that still would eventually come back to normal pretty fast uh, within like a day or two. So I don't really always take that as like exact science, but I'm going to go over kind of the way the market's trending. Things have actually kind of went up a little bit. Some certain things have went up, some things have went down. I'll go through all that. Now, before we get into the video, guys, shout out to Don L. Bailey for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. Uh, th if you guys are new here, hit that sub button. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and be subbed, of course. And yeah, it's about it for that, so let's get into this. Let's go over to the auction block. Now, guys, I've made some pretty decent coins selling some stuff that I held on to. If you guys had any base leads held from, like, day one, there's some pretty good values now on base leads. Now, if we go to the 80s, 81s, 80s, 81s don't move too much, as you guys do know. They're going to be staying pretty steady year-round because they're just, it's, like, it's like a dollar, right? There's inflation in life. But when there's inflation, the dollar goes up slightly, and there's deflation, the dollar goes down slightly. When you have a million dollars and there's inflation or deflation by that same percentage, you could lose a lot of money. So the, be, being these players are like the dollar bills of the muck community, they they move, but not enough that you'll ever be able to make a lot on or, or lose a lot on. So these are pretty safe players to have. I mean, they're good. They're good for certain stuff. They're bad training values though, so I really just sell them. Otherwise, I would have held on to them. They're decent. Nothing too crazy in terms of the market move will ever happen there. 82 to 83s have a bit more movement. There's times you can see 83s like 18k, then there's times you can see them at 17, times you can see them at 22. It really just depends on how much people need training at that moment. When there's runs on training, you'll see a lot of these players fly up them overall. Uh, right now, it seems like 83s are around the 22k range. These will move a little bit more to where you can make a few k off of them. Nothing crazy, but you definitely see some more movement at this overall for the most part. Okay, so we're going to start getting into the bigger tiers here. These are where you're starting to see a lot more movement. So 84s, 85s. You've definitely seen a lot of movement here already to start the year. Uh, for instance, I had a Kenny Clark. I believe that went for like... Start the year, he was like 50K. Then he went down to like 28K. Then he moved up. Saquon Barkley, same thing. He's at 50K. Like there's some expensive 84s. So this is the first tier where you'll see players that way outweigh their price range or where they should be. Uh, and again, you can make some decent coins on Minka Fitzpatrick, Marlon Humphrey, primarily because of their power-ups. Buddha, Baker... There's a lot of guys you can make some money on in this early range here. So it's become pretty clear this year that elites could go for a decent amount based on their power-ups already. But this range is decent. Again, I don't expect too much market movement here. The only This will move when there's when we start going up in overalls more. So this isn't going to move from like something big now. But when we get to higher threshold tiers, the, the higher ranges come down. So right now, the 84 to 85 is at 28 to 50k tier. When we start introducing 91s, 92s, 93s into the game... That'll push the 89 to 88 is down, 87 to 86 is down. Before you know it, the 84 to 85s will be like in the 15K range, 25K range. So these aren't cards you need to sell exactly right now. Um, like These aren't cards that if you have starting for your team, you don't need to sell them to think that you're going to lose a lot of money. But I've been selling a lot of my 84 to 85s because there's some pretty good prices in there. Like I just sold a, uh, I sold the Kenny Clark. I sold a few guys in this range for a pretty good price because they just go for so much right now. Uh, again, I think it's more of a seller's market in some instances right now. Guys, these cards right here, like 60k for these 86 are great values. Of course, I use them to make my Saquon Barkley and finish the set. Stephon Diggs went up in price. A lot of these guys are pretty good prices right now for the most part. Tyron Matthew I sold because he I got him. I actually sold him for around 90k. He came down a little bit. I also sold him at the beginning of the game. Sold him for 90k because I was like, why have an 85 to 86 speed safety on the team when there's so many faster safeties? And he's a good price. So I got rid of him. Moved on from him pretty fast. The flashback still holds some decent value. I mean, you know, if it isn't Daniel Jones or one of those other ones, they're a bit lower, but they also need some value. David Bakhtiar is an interesting one. So he went for 85K when I got him. So I held on to him. Then I saw he went for like 120, 110, and I sold him for like 110. So that's not bad at all. Again, if you have a David Bakhtiar, he's a left tackle. I mean, they're cool and all, but there's a new Tyron Smith in the game. 
over 100k for left tackle right now isn't exactly a necessity as the game does progress and pass rush gets buffed a little bit better currently pass rush isn't the greatest so i had no problem getting rid of him and then same thing with chris jones i did just i just pulled him out of a um a chiefs team fantasy pack out of a bit on a solo that i got him from or maybe a level up i don't really know i came out of a solo and it was there but i got him so that goes for another like again 116k ish i haven't sold him just yet because an 87 overall defensive tackle is actually pretty good right now and he has good pass rush uh jay alexander a lot of these guys are actually holding some pretty good value tyreek hill finally came down a bit so he's a guy that's dropped now the reason i think now the reason tyreek's dropped is also because as people get closer to level 50 they start getting their uh level 87 to 88 power pass and then of course you can go ahead and get tyreek hill which is my my plan is actually to get tyreek hill as well and then probably sell jamar chase which is another reason why i think he could be coming down because i can't be the only guy having that idea 88 to 89 now this is an interesting range here so as you guys see this range is between 129 130 ish all the way up until around like 280 300k so again sellers market like guys like derrick henry Devonte adams i think are really just sells at this point i mean derrick henry is cool but there's already saquon and lt and you have to imagine they're going to keep outpacing him the only way derrick henry becomes meta is it well, this year derrick henry new derrick henry cards will actually be borderline meta which has never been the case in the past but i don't think he gets a card for a little bit quite honestly especially with how legends usually outpace everyone so superstar vp cards are actually pretty good sells right now i mean they're above 200k there was a time when they were like 170 165 now they're all above 200k now again they do have abilities on them they're great values which is why i've been rocking with them and especially during weekend league they're going to be rising but pretty quickly as soon as cards like 90 91 start coming out they're going to drop fast because yeah they have abilities on them but people have more than enough coins and people spend more than enough money on packs to be able to just go ahead and move on and buy their own abilities as well as the abilities that come on them in terms of meta isn't the abilities that everyone's going to want and most players who really take this seriously will move on from those kind of players. So, like, for me, right, I don't have the coins to be messing around with Saquon's abilities like that. But I plan to keep him. So, I powered him up anyways. But then, let's say, like, a guy like Russell Wilson, I'm not powering him up. I don't plan to keep him all year. So, I'm stuck with those abilities. But I, on, on Weekend League, I need these certain abilities to compete. Let's just say that's the abilities I like. So, I have to power him up, and I'm not going to do that. So, for those reasons, I'll sell him and, get, and spend more money on a different quarterback and get what I want then. And that's kind of the case with superstar MVP players for a lot of like uh, super like sweaty deep into people. That's going to be the case for a lot of people. They're going to move on from these players fast. For the short term, like the first two weeks of these cards, they're pretty much beast. And then again, you can even pick them up at the end of the month. And still, for most people, these are going to be good cards. But I'm saying for the top tier players, they'll move on, which will knock the price down because they'll start selling them all off. But like I said, they're still going to be good. Like you can pick these cards up a month from now, like when you still need an outside linebacker or a third quarter and be like, oh, okay, he has the ability to just throw them on there. I don't have to pay any extra training. It's always a good value. Then, of course, we have the 90 range here. And I'll go over my overall consensus on buying and selling in a second. So, 90 overall range, you got the Larry Zonka, the full legend, a 290. That just actually isn't horrible, but he is a fullback. Uh, Brandon Marshall, 325, still up there. Warren Sapp, and of course, Ed Reed. This range, guys, is the volatile range. This is the range that is super safe right now. You're going to be getting 300K plus out of these guys. But this is the range that can and will drop at some point. And you're going to, like right now, my Brandon Marshall, Ed Reed, um, and Darrell Rivas combo sells for close to like 900k. Well, no, it sells for just about 900k. So if I, the plan you want to be here, guys, is sell them before it fall. The, the, you know the wheels fall off. Now it doesn't mean sell them this instant. To clarify that, play with them, enjoy them. When we start getting closer to when you know like the next tier of overalls are coming out. So this we had the second week of Legends, right? 90 overalls. The third week probably 90 overalls again. 90, 91 again. When you think we're about to hit the 91 overall legend range, that may be the time to actually go ahead and maybe sell them. But I think the scary one's going to be the 92 range because the 91s won't replace Brandon Marshall. I mean, there's not going to be another wide receiver probably just yet or another safety like that just yet. They're probably going to move around, get some offensive linemen in there, get some D linemen in there, get some linebackers. So just for just for reference, the 91s may be okay. For me, I think Brandon Marshall and Ed Reed are probably like a mid mid september would be the time to if you could still capitalize on 320 ish you may want to sell them just like a week or two and then just let them drop down to like their 250 ish range 240 ish range because they're gonna have to drop because they're, they're holding like the top tier price range that we usually see in madden and they're not going to be those guys forever i mean ed reed may hold value for a decent amount of time but brandon marshall's only an 88 speed which is really good right now but we have some pretty speedy guys already so won't be forever i actually do like brandon marshall's a guy you can keep in your team for like two months because he's just with that power and route running and everything but still you don't want to be behind the curve because very quickly brandon marshall ed reed and revis around your cake turn to brandon marshall ed reed and revis for 550k after reduction that's a lot of coins to lose and that significantly hurts your ability to keep going ahead throughout the year and reusing those coins 
But guys, about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. The consensus today is I would say we're in a pretty good seller's market right now. Things are raised up. People are competing in weekend league. People are getting the game. And as things keep happening, markets up. Something will come to so bring that back down a little bit. I don't know exactly when. I don't think Ultimate Kickoff will be the one. It's possible. But it would take like a really crazy legend weekend and ultimate kickoff like in unison real quick to really do it theme diamonds would change the market but i don't think that'd even be a crash that could actually increase the market as well it would increase the market for everyone besides the theme diamond master position but all the base elites and all the goals and stuff they would start to go up because people need them for the set so that could actually make the market more expensive as well but that's about it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you're to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always thank you for watching i'm out peace